Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Audrey and as you can tell by the title of this video, I am going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. So I have been filming book videos off and on very sporadically this past year and I realized I have yet to do the booktube newbie tag and so I want to do that. And so that is what this video is today. So go ahead and grab something cozy like coffee or tea and just sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So I don't actually know the questions to this tag. I did a quick Google search right before I turned this camera on. So the questions will be a bit of a surprise to me. So hopefully I will be prepared to answer them. But like I said, I have been doing book videos often on this past year. And going into the new year, I decided I wanted to be more consistent and share my love of reading with all of you out there. So with that all out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into these questions. So question number one, okay, why did you start this channel? So I started this channel to talk about books. <laughs> At the very beginning when I started this channel, I was talking about knitting because I also knit. I was talking about books and I was sharing my life as a new mom. So I have a 12 month old, which is crazy. It goes so fast, it really does. So yeah, I was kind of just wanting to share just kind of my life and my fun hobbies. And so I decided to kind of create two channels. So I do have another channel where I talk about knitting. And then this channel I talk about books. But as a new mom, it is very hard to have two channels and different hobbies and being a mom and all this stuff. So I'm just kind of thinking about next year and where I want to focus my energy and my time and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, I started this channel just to kind of share my love of reading and crafting and um, being a mom. So it's kind of how I started this channel. Okay, next question. What are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? I feel like I have a very different taste of books than pretty much everyone here on booktube. Uh, maybe not everyone, but um, I but I grew up reading classics and I guess literary fiction. And so those are the kind of books that I love and that I gravitate towards. I will read a popular book or, or romance or something like that, but I definitely am inclined more towards like a classic or just kind of general fiction. So I feel like that genre of books is a little bit different than everyone else. And so I think that maybe I could kind of add in that aspect of it that maybe not others are doing. So um, that's kind of what I'm hoping to bring to this channel. All right, next question. What are you most excited for about this new channel? I'm excited to talk about books and um, thankfully I grew up in a family of readers and so we love books and um, all of our children love books and so I definitely have a great community around me where I can talk about books but it's still fun to just share and talk to even more people about books because books are just so near and dear to me so that's kind of um, what I'm excited for just to honestly just talk about books. Okay, next question is why do you love reading? I'm sure for a lot of bookworms out there, we all have the same answer, but growing up, books were my friends. Every spare minute I got, I read. And actually I was homeschooled for my whole education, I guess, um, up until high school. And so I feel like that really honestly helped cultivate the time and the love for reading. And so, you know, like I said, I grew up in a family of readers, so initially I didn't really have a choice about reading, but thankfully I just, I remember the first time I like read a book <laughs> and connected that there's a story to these words and then my whole world just like opened up and so I just devoured every single book and I haven't stopped. So um, there is never a time that I haven't read. And so anyways, I just, I love reading because there's so much to learn and it's a good escape and it is good for your mind and your brain, honestly. So that's kind of why I love reading, if that answers that question. So the next one is, what book or series got you into reading? So yeah, there wasn't anything specific. Um, the minute I could read, then I just read everything. Yeah, my parents had a very good taste of books and literature and things that we weren't allowed to read and things that we were allowed. And I think that really helped cultivate my high standard of books. 
Um, so for that, I am grateful. So there wasn't really one particular series. I remember reading the Lord of the Rings books when I was maybe eight, I want to say. And I loved them. And of course, I've reread them since then. But I remember reading that series and really, really loved it. Yeah, maybe I hope that answers that question. Next question. What questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? That's a tough one. I don't know if I have a specific question that I would ask them. Hmm. I know this is a cop out, but I don't have an answer for that one. Yeah, I don't have an answer for that one. Okay, next one. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? So like I said, I have been periodically doing book videos already this past year, and it is a challenge for sure because making videos in and of itself is already kind of a hobby and um, time consuming. So you add that in addition to reading and in addition to being a mom. So I think it is definitely very challenging, but it is still very fun and I really enjoy it. Whether I get one view or a million views, like I still, I still really enjoy making these videos. So I know the challenge specifically will be just finding the time Honestly, I know we all have the same amount of hours in the day, but you know, I had to, to kind of prioritize where I spend my time and each day is so different. So that is definitely going to be the biggest challenge, but I am up for the challenge. All right, next question. When did you start reading? So I started reading when I first could learn how to read. I don't know what age that was and I haven't stopped, like I said. So I, yeah, I've always read. It hasn't been a COVID hobby or anything like that. It's been a a lifestyle honestly for me since I could first learn how to read so, yeah I've pretty much always been reading <laughs> okay next question is where do you read so anywhere and again it just depends on the day sometimes if my daughter is eating lunch she's in her high chair maybe I'll pick out my book and read then um, if it's at night, I'll sit on the couch, maybe I'll sit by the fire, I'll read in bed. So there's no specific place that I read, I just kind of read anywhere that's comfy. Alright, next question. What kind of books do you like to read? So I think I've already answered that. I love classics first and foremost, and then any sort of like general fiction or literary fiction. I love those books. I will read a romance here and there, but it's not a genre that I gravitate towards on a regular basis. But I will pretty much read anything that looks good or sounds good or has been recommended to me. So um, that is the answer there. And then the very final question is, what does your book collection look like? So here's a sneak peek. I'm actually sitting on the floor. So this bookshelf goes all the way up to the ceiling. And it some of the shelves are double stacked. And so I, I love my book collection. And I know that people say... There are two hobbies, reading is one and buying books is another one, and I can for sure agree with that, but I usually buy books that I intend to read. So um, even though it's still fun to buy a book, I still am intending to read that book. I don't buy it just to buy it. Does that make sense? So yeah, this is my book collection. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. I love it. I don't buy a ton of books. This is my collection that I've been working on my whole life and so I yeah I don't tend to buy a ton of books I utilize the library I have for my whole life as well and so I love the books that I have but yeah I use the library a lot to read books too so uh, maybe one day I will do a bookshelf tour I do have one on this channel I filmed it in the summer and so maybe I'll redo it again just because I do have a few books that I've added since then and then maybe I'll go through the ones that I have or haven't read or something like that. So I think that could be a fun video as well. But that is the end of these questions for the booktube newbie tag. So hopefully those questions kind of helped you learn a little bit more about me. I'm excited to jump into this community and share my own love of reading and my own taste of books. And I hope that you stick around and enjoy. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.